Well, hello, YouTubers. Look what I have here. Um, got this yesterday from a thrift store. This is a Bissell featherweight bagless vacuum. Got this because, well, I just got it because I have wood floors, whatever, but I got this because I never had a featherweight bagless before, so I figured why not grab it. It's in really good condition, though. It's got pretty much the vacuum, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I got this for 10 bucks at a thrift shop near me. Um, it works really well. There's really nothing wrong with that. The only thing that was needing is a, needing is a cleaning. So yeah, it's um it's good. It runs really well. It's nice and quiet. So there's the base, and it's actually got a squeegee on it, which is different. I don't know why it has a squeegee because the ones I've seen, like the blue ones before, I had excuse me brushes. Um, yeah. So you can see this is a 31. 06-K from 2014, as you can see, with a 1.2 amp motor. So, and there's the on-off switch. Um, I have used it before, just a few times already, and it's actually already doing a pretty good job. So, I will go ahead and show you the filter. I'm not going to pull out too much, but you can see it's already got some dirt on it. So, and, so. I don't know how old this vacuum is, but... That's from 2014, so... I think the ones I've seen before are, like, 2007, something like that. Let's take a look. There we go. 2007. So I'll be back, guys. I'm gonna pause this. For... Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, just had to pause it because I don't want the hair going... Why is this thing not focusing? Come on. Shit, this logo. Somehow, now my phone's like felt weird. Okay, there we go. So you can see, I don't want the hair acting all or looking at like that. Um, it's basically just a three-in-one vacuum. This Bissell is. That's what it basically is. It's just the featherweight or the three-in-one. There's the handle. I actually like this handle a lot better than the newer stickbacks. So, um, I will do a run video here and just show you that it runs really well. I'm not gonna undo the cord too much because I don't want it to get all messy. Because I just I did just vacuum my floors, so just about a couple minutes ago. So the suction on this thing is not that bad. Um, so, but I did talk to her. I tried to call my mom so and see if she can get that Bissell power for shakes and good bone. So far, no answer. So and I really regret myself on getting that or. Um, never getting it, whatever, but yeah, here it is running. It's very quiet. I blow out a bit of dust. There we go. So this is basically a vacuum acquisition video of this thing. But you can see it runs really well. I am gonna find more feather lights, so. You know, I should have grabbed the Bissell Power for Helix and this from the front separate thrift stores, but still. Um Yeah. Yeah, sorry I didn't make YouTube videos about the vacuums at the thrift stores, guys, but oh well. So the reason why I had the cord do it like this because it likes to come off on the other side there, so that's a common way. So, anyway, guys, that is the video of the Bissell Featherweight Bagless. Um, it's actually a green silken color, which I've never seen like this before. But yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, like I said, there's the. Uh... God, my phone sucks right now. So this is a, like I said, 2014 model. So nothing new. So. Um, I was about to get a Dirt Devil vacuum at the thrift store where I got this from, but it smelled pretty bad, so. It actually smelled like perfume. It was bad, so. Anyway, guys, that is a video of the Bissell Featherweight Bagless. Like I said, it's 
it runs just good. So that is it, guys. See you later.